Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video, which I personally am super excited about because we're getting DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. During Apple's announcement of the new iPad Pro M2 two days ago, a lot of us noticed that they were running Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve on their iPad Pro during all their video demos. Now today we have confirmation from Blackmagic that that is 100% the case and we are looking at a release in 2022, which means sometime within the next two months. And I'm gonna tell you more about that in a second, but before we get into that, please don't forget to hit that like button if you end up finding this video useful, as well as considering subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. Now let's get into it. We have asked Apple for years to put out a full version of Final Cut on the iPad Pro to make use of the M1 chip, and unfortunately that never happened. And now we have Blackmagic coming to the rescue. Now as someone who uses DaVinci Resolve for editing, and I have for years, this is absolutely fantastic news to me and many others, as now we have the advantage of being able to use DaVinci Resolve on the go. Now, so far the few clips that we've seen from Apple showing DaVinci Resolve on the iPad Pro, it looks like an almost full featured version of DaVinci Resolve, just like we have it on the desktop. Now, as of now, it only has the cut panel and the color panel, but Blackmagic has said that this is temporary and that they do plan to bring more panels in the future. This is just where they're starting at. Now, fast forward two days from the Apple video Video showing this, we do have official documentation from Blackmagic themselves listing and outlining pretty much everything that's going to be in this app when it's initially released. Now, as of October 20, 2022, which is today at the release of this video, Blackmagic has come out and said that this app will be released in Q4 of 2022. Now, considering that it's already almost the end of October, that means sometime within November or December. Now, they've said that there will be a free version on the Apple Store as well as a paid upgrade version. So it looks like it's going to do the same format that we see on the desktop version, where you have the free version of Resolve as well as a studio version. Unfortunately, we do not currently have pricing as of yet, but I can't imagine that it's going to be as high as the studio desktop version we also don't know if you have a current free license on the uh, studio version, if it will carry over to the iPad version in terms of licensing. As many of us who have bought DaVinci Resolve have only used one of our two licenses that we get with our main key code when we buy it. Now, from reading through the Blackmagic literature, this app has been 100% designed to work on Apple Silicon. So your M1 and your M2 and they've said that it's absolutely going to be at its fastest on the M2 because that was kind of their primary design platform for this. Now, unfortunately, we are going to have to wait and see if this piece of software is going to be usable on non-M1 or M2 iPads, as the performance of those units aren't nearly as strong as the M1 and the M2. I can imagine that if it does run on those iPads, you might be restricted to 1080p editing just from a performance bottleneck, but we're going to have to wait and see where we fall with that. Now, they've also come out and said that this app has been optimized for the 12.9 inch. So pretty much all your UI and interface is going to be based on that size. And once you start going down to a smaller iPad, it could be potentially much harder to see any of your menus and whatnot. Blackmagic has said that any of the projects that you create on the iPad edition will be 100% compatible with DaVinci Resolve 18 desktop version and vice versa with supported file formats that include H.264, H.265, Apple Pro Res and Blackmagic Raw. You will be able to import your clips from the cloud, external USB-C media, or directly just from the library on your iPad. Now, I personally can't wait to get my hands on this. And I wanna know, what do you guys think about this? Is this something that you are going to be able to use and incorporate in your daily editing. And if you're somebody who watches this channel who doesn't own an iPad, but you do use DaVinci Resolve, could this be a reason to go out and buy an iPad? Is this going to be enough to make you go get a newer iPad to be able to use DaVinci Resolve out in the field, out when you're doing video shoots? Now, as new information comes out about this program, I will be sure to do more videos and put out every bit of information that I can for you guys on this channel. Now, as always, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up button and let us know that you like it. If you wanna see more content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel as well as hitting that bell notification. That way you get alerts anytime I put out a new 
camera, video related, tech related, news or how to video. And with that being said, until next time.